Uh, welcome to another episode of Cap at Home with Bull Detroit. I'm Mr. Park, and today we're going to go over some basics and uh, some basic shading techniques. Uh, plus, I'm going to be drawing a portrait in the process, so I'm going to explain some key factors to keep in mind when you're drawing a portrait. So, I am going to switch over to my desk to get us started. Okay, so we're going to start by doing some very light sketch work. So I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, the reason we you normally want to keep it pretty light in the beginning, your line work, is so that's easier to erase and a lot easier to fix uh, if you were to make any mistakes. Since I'm doing a demonstration for you guys, I'm going to have to darken this up a bit pretty soon here, so that way you can see it. But normally, you want to you wanna keep um, you want to keep everything as light as possible for as long as you can up until you start adding the final details. Now before I go any further, I'm going to go over a couple of the key factors that I mentioned earlier. Um, so when you draw, you want to you wanna keep in mind Sorry, I had to grab a short uh, the, the things you have to keep in mind are the line work, proportion, so during your drawing stage, your line work and your proportion your proportions are incredibly important. Um, a lot of people mess this part up right here, the proportion aspect. Because um, proportions, that's pretty much everything. That's the, um, that's how big something is compared to something else. That's how f further something is or how much closer something is, you know, compared to a different object in the scene. Worrying about proportions, it, it might seem like a, a, a small detail, but um, these things actually all add up um, in the end. So if you were to do a portrait of a of a photo um, or a celebrity, and you finish it and it doesn't look quite right, it's it's mainly because uh, something is off about the proportions. Oftentimes, that's the that's the biggest reason.
So if you ever uh, do a drawing of a photo um, that's been taken, or whatever, an image, um, try and go the extra mile to make sure that you get the proportions and the measurements right, because um, it, it'll definitely be worth it in the end. So normally you might want to add more details to the face before you begin shading, but um, since this lesson is specifically about shading, I'm not going to get too technical with the drawing aspect of this portrait. Let me start putting some things up here so it's easier for you guys to see. begin the, the shading portion of this project. So for this drawing, I'm, I'm deciding to have the, the light source come from sort of the front, uh, in front of them, um, towards the top of them. So that would make the brightest areas right here, right here, and pretty much all throughout the center area, almost. Which means if the light source is um, leaning more towards the top, that means the bottom part here is going to be pretty dark. So I'm going to begin by shading the darkest parts lightly just so I know where where they're gonna be at. It's gonna be dark under the brows and the eyes also. eyelid a little bit. But also the nose. Uh, it's important to understand um, sort of the geometry of um, your subject when you shade. Because um, clearly it, it's going to determine the, how it visually looks. And the way it interacts with um, the material or whatever the subject is. Um, it's also going to be dark right here. Uh, 
but okay, so um, once you know where the darkest spots are gonna be, um, uh, it's not it's not really anything too difficult from here. Um, but you do want to keep in mind one important thing when it comes to shading is to over exaggerate it. Um, so where the darkest points are, try to make it darker than what you think it needs to be. Because um, oftentimes we don't make things dark enough. Um, so this sort of cancels it out. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's a very neat trick. I think it'll help you guys out a lot. Um, it, it adds more contrast to the image. Uh, it can add more value to the image, and it definitely draws people's uh, draws the eyes to it a lot more. So the areas where you know it's supposed to be the darkest, you just want to go all out pretty much. Um, make it as crazy dark as you can. So right now I'm giving the uh, his hair strands like sort of a glow effect. Um, obviously it's a lot brighter where it is uh, at the center right here. But yeah, just make sure that you, you, you try to over-exaggerate everything. Um, that's the that's the main takeaway I'd like you guys to to have uh, for today is if you just try and over-exaggerate the darkest areas of your image. It'll definitely have more of a theatrical look to it. And there you go. All done. Thank you for joining me on today's episode. Um, come back at 4 p.m. Uh, the rest of the week for more videos. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment or send an email. Um, but other than that, 